Yeah, can you please advise us Eskom's estimated uh, pre-tax real levelized cost of electricity from an Eskom driven uh, nuclear new build in South Africa? And I presume you, you must have a clear idea in this regard uh, and you must uh, have a clear uh, idea of the assumptions on which your LCAOE estimation is based um, because an LCAOE on its own without these assumptions uh, really is, is meaningless. So can you uh, tell us uh, your estimated pre-tax real LCOE and the assumptions on which this is based? Okay. Um, I'm, this is a very difficult one because the assumptions in themselves tend to be uh, business-driven activities. Um, but I will comment clearly ESCOM has uh, a very straightforward view. We have issued ourselves an internal target that this project makes sense to us if we can bring the LCOE for the program in between 80 cents and one rand a unit um, based upon ESCOM's standard um, uh, discount rates, assuming a degree of um, export credit agency financing at the rates we're getting at the moment, um, and assuming a price for the plant, an overnight cost of the plant, which is inside the envelope that we estimate that is being um, seen in the world market at the moment. And I give you, I haven't given you numbers in those details, so I'm, and, and you can push, you can push a long way, Chris, you're not going to get. But I will comment is that we are comfortable um, that for our present estimate of the first two machines will come inside that range of 80 cents to one round. Um, would it help if we took this question uh, offline to the extent where you could feed back uh, some more specific uh, assumptions on things like the uh, overnight capital cost in US dollars per kilowatt, well, uh, the WAC used, the uh, fixed and variable operating and maintenance costs. Give me some numbers. I'll give you some numbers. Uh, I, I think it would probably well, be I'll better to do, do no. this offline no, because no. They, 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 there's, there's quite a long list of such but, assumptions. But, but I'll give you a couple of assumptions, sure. the key driver assumptions. Yeah. Um, the key driver assumptions are we're looking at a, 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 a at an overnight capital cost of the early machines yeah. in the range of four and a half thousand dollars a kilowatt. We're looking at, uh, I'll be careful what numbers using here, yeah. but I'll, I'll quote the, the Kuberg numbers. At the moment, the Kuberg number for over the last um, five years, from 2011 through to next year, um, it's uh, operating maintenance and fuel costs have averaged in today's round of about 27 cents. Per kilowatt hour. Per kilowatt hour. And I was born in mind that, 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 that that's, in my view, slightly high number um, because we've got all the overheads of the, of the nuclear fleet sitting inside one, two units. Um, what else are you asking me? You are, uh, uh, the life expectancy? Oh, 60 years. 60 years. And that's a pretty standard number now. Cooper get to 60 years, we're comfortable, and there's no great reason we can't. The Americans are now talking going to 80 years, 80 years, and they're even talking about 100 years. Mm -hmm. There is no obvious end point to the life of a large light water reactor. And the weighted average cost of capital, the way it's used? Um, I'm, I don't know. I think it's the ESCOM standard one. Yeah, because that, of course, is the most critical parameter. Uh, it is a critical uh, parameter, uh, and the other parameter that, 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 that I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm just not able to answer to you at this stage. So please, I'm not going. I'm not being serious. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think we're looking at a. a, a, a I don't know. The, 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 the interesting one is, of course, how much do you take the cost of the debt, mm -hmm. because the classical cost of debt for ECA financing, um, which covers in some cases, the vast majority of the project in some of these, the, the, the recent in, um, Egyptian job, um, is it normally in dollars, but it's normally at rates that can be below 3%. So it's interesting that, 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 that apparently the Egyptians, the Russians are lending the Egyptians $25 billion for the their four-unit plant at just below 3% nominal. And if you look at ESCOM annual report, you'll find that that's the kind of rate, we're getting rates like that for most of our, most of our um, ECA financing ESCOM is going to gain today.
So go ask about your report. I haven't I've got quite, what we do, I can get it for you. I've got my, on my wall. I think certain things are important to me out on my wall. ESCOM's export credit agency financing numbers are down in the order of, of 1 to 3%. I'll show you in a second. Except where it's in land, where it's at 8.5%, which is still less than what it costs to capital.